Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley, and on this channel we talk all things budgeting and cash stuffing, including sinking funds and savings challenges. So today we are gonna go over my income for the week. I am a server, I make 213 an hour plus tips. So we're gonna count up all my tips, figure out what I made this week, and then we are gonna go ahead and set up our budget with that. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around for the rest of this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. So first things first, this was actually a pretty good week for me. Um, I was off on Saturday and Sunday, um, and despite that, I still had over 40 hours um, on the clock this week, so let's get to counting. On Monday, I did work a double shift, and I made 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 318 dollars on Monday. Tuesday, I just worked the evening and I made 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 113. Wednesday, I did work another double shift, and I made 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 130, 140, 150, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. So 173 for a double shift. On Thursday, I just worked the evening and I made 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. And then on Friday, I did work a double shift and I also had a large group of 30 that was that I had all to myself and y'all, they blessed me. So um, I would say 75% of this came from just that party alone. So it's crazy the amount I made on Friday, but let's count this up. <laughs> I made 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, so 340. 350, 360, 370, 380, 390, 410, 415, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. So that was 468 for a double shift on Friday. And like I said, I believe when I came down to it, I made 300 off that group alone and I am so thankful for them. All right, so I should have $1,169, but let's just double check everything um, so I know exactly what I'm working with for my budget. So we've got 200, 300, 400, Two, four, six, eight, five, two, four, six, eight, six, two, four, six, eight, seven, two, four, six, eight, eight, two, four, six, eight, so eight hundred eighty, eight ninety, nine hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one thousand, one ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1,100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So $1,169 from tips this week. Um, and then of course we do have my $60 from cleaning the restaurant. And I'm just gonna throw that in there. And now let's go ahead um, and I'm gonna pull out my iPad so that we can get this budget set up. Um, you will also see up here I am including, I did get a tax rebate. Um, and that was $500. So we are starting this budget out working with 1,700 and, pardon me. All right, and we are starting out this budget with $1,729 after that rebate. Um, if you watched my last video, um, I went over what the totals are for my cash envelope for the month of October, but let's just go over that again. Um, so as usual, we're doing 25 for spending money for both me and my husband. Groceries is going to be 150 Health, we are sticking with 25. Gas, we bumped that down to 40. Um, pet care stayed at 40. Dining stayed at 50. We did bump fun down to $15. And then we had miscellaneous stay at $5. Um, and for at least the beginning portion of October, I am going to probably go over that $100 um, limit that I have on gas just because we are traveling in the second week of October. So we're going to need a little extra gas money anyways. So I'm just going to keep going past that at least for the first couple weeks. Um, but that total is going to be at 375. Um, so after cash envelopes, we are working with 1,354. Um, we are going to move down to bills. So for the month of October, one of my main goals um, is to get back to being a full month ahead. And seeing we got that $500 cash or tax rebate, um, I am going to put a good chunk towards bills this week. So we are going to start off, um, the mortgage is already paid, HOA is already paid, um, our T-Mobile bill is paid. Um, so actually these are now, whoops, um, zero dollars in here. So let me fix that real quick. Those did get paid out. The money is in the bank and they should have already come out of the bank. Um, we are already fully funded for, um, electric and natural gas for, um, October's bills. So now we are going to put 250 towards car loan, 31 towards cable, 138 towards insurance and $450 towards discover, which will finish off all of our bills for October, which technically means November, October's bills are paid for. So if I can stick to um, everything else for the rest of the month, we should get to be a full month ahead with my husband's two paychecks in October. So we are off to a good start. And hopefully this means I've already hit my first October goal. Um, but th that's it for bills. Um, I did figure out my taxes already. Remember, I am putting aside 5% of my serving income each week. Um, just to have that extra tax money that I will owe at the end of the year. So going into the bill binder is going to be $927. Um, so we are left with $427 to work with our the rest of our binders. 
So let's move up over here to subscriptions. And this is last um, week's numbers. So let me take those out real quick. Okay, so for Jim, we always do $10 for Jim. Disney Plus, let's go ahead and pull that binder out real quick and see what we want to put towards our savings challenges. So for Disney Plus, this one is going to be due in November, so I do kind of want to put some extra money towards that um, and get it fully funded for October. So let's go ahead. We're going to do one of each little symbol, which is going to be $7 total. Um, tone it up. I'm going to go ahead and do the five, and hopefully we can get this one fully funded by the end of this month as well. Um, BJ's, I will go ahead and do um, one of the little BJ's logos, which will just be $3. I'm not going to put anything towards my Strava or Amazon Prime just yet. Um, but we do have those ready for once we fully fund the other subscriptions. So now after that, we are left with $402 for our sinking funds and savings challenges. And that was $25 going towards subscriptions. So I'm just going to mark that down here for my personal knowledge. Okay. So 402 is what we are working with. Um, and I think I am going to start with my savings challenges and figure out what I wanna do here. Let me go ahead and erase all these numbers. These were the ones from last week. Okay. So we are going to start with the Disney binder. And y'all, I need to put some money in here. I didn't put a lot in there last week. So let's see, we're starting with 402. So let's just go ahead and do two towards Mickey um, to get us back to that 400 mark for everything else. Dining. Dining, I'm going to go ahead and put $100 there so we get to color in one little hamburger. And then for drinks, drinks, let's see, we're going to do, we're going to do $40 towards drinks this week. All right, so that is a total of $142 for the Disney binder. And I'm gonna mark that over here separately, just so I can kind of keep track of what I'm actually putting in each binder. Okay, so 402 minus the 142, that means we have 260 left for savings challenges and sinking funds. So let's pull out that savings challenge binder here. All right, so we're gonna start up at the top now with the fall challenge. And I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna do $20 and do one of these um, orange pumpkins and get us started off on a good foot for the fall challenge. Um, so we've got $20 there. For Christmas, I haven't made too much progress recently in this one, so we're gonna do $20. Um, retirement, retirement, I'm gonna go ahead um, and do $10 here. Emergency, I'm gonna skip emergency this week. Or no, no, I don't wanna skip it. 
it is one of my goals to get my emergency back up. So you know what? We're going to do, we'll do 15. 15 towards emergency, vacation. We need to put some money towards vacation. Um, technically, to fully fund this, we need to put $75 here. So let's just go for it. We are going to do 75 towards vacation. Um, but I am think I'm going to skip everything else in this binder. Um, pet emergency, date night. Um travel I'll do 15 for travel just because we are traveling um let's see I don't know if I have any ones that have the letter a so let's check that real quick Nope, no ones with the letter A, so we can skip that challenge. Um, and credit cards haven't paid out the points yet so far for October, so nothing there. So that was $155 for our savings challenge binder. So we have 105 left to work with for sinking funds. So let's move up that way. Okay, so like I said, 105, and let's just kind of start down here. These ones, I'm just going to put um, a little bit in there. Okay, so we have 90 left. Now clothing, I skipped over clothing because, y'all, we're going to a wedding um, in the second week of October, and I think we need to pick up a few things. Um, I do have a dress I could wear, but I kind of want to look and see if there's a different one. Um, we are going up north a little bit, so it's going to be a little chillier than it is in my area. So I either need like a little like shawl or whatever, or a different like thicker dress. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put 50 more dollars in here to bump that up just in case. So we now have $40 left. So I am going to do 20 of that towards running because we do have to sign up for another race. Um, and then I'm going to do five towards racing events, five towards car mods, and we'll do $10 towards car maintenance. And we're just going to skip car down payment for this week. So, adding all that up. Is $105 for sinking funds. And now let's double check that everything adds up. So we had 375 for cash envelopes, 927 for bills. 25 for subscriptions, 105 for sinking funds, 155 for savings challenges, and 142 for the Disney binder, bringing us to our grand total of $1,729, which is what we have to work with for the week. So yeah, that is kind of it today. I know I was kind of a little all over the place, but I am really trying to hit my goals for October um, and I'm feeling good. I wanted to make good strides this week just because I know the next couple weeks with traveling um, and not working as many shifts, at least on my end, my income will go down. I wanted to get a big chunk of this just 
out of the way and um, I'm feeling good. So make sure you come back tomorrow and we are gonna start cash stuffing. We are gonna stuff our cash envelopes and our bills. And then on Friday, we're gonna do subscription, sinking funds and the savings challenges. And then make sure you also come back on Sunday. We are gonna be stuffing my um, side hustle income. So that's gonna be Etsy for this week. Um, and also I got my first payout for my Amazon affiliates. It's not a lot, but we're gonna add that in with the Etsy money. And I'm just, I'm just excited guys. Like I had my best month yet on Etsy and I am just so thankful. So make sure you tune in the rest of the week for my videos and I'll see you then. Bye.